Hey guys, what is going on? This is Ip of Rage Quit TV. Gonna be casting a game between Denai and White Raw. It is a PVT on Antigua Shipyards, and I can't wait to see this game because I love any White Raw game. He makes pretty much any game entertaining. Maybe I'm just a fanboy, but I bet you are too. I have no clue who this Denai guy is. We'll see exactly what he has up his sleeves for White Raw. This is not the latest patch as it did just come out like a day ago. This game, I believe, is two to three days old, so it is relatively new, and we'll see exactly what ends up happening. White Raw is going to be building his nine pylon right by his nexus, and he'll either go for a 12 or 13 gate. And we do have Deny going to be building a supply depot right at 10, so everything is very standard, but you never see anything other than nine supply and 10 depot. Well, I take that back. You may see a 10 pylon, 10 gate. It's a pretty cheesy build that was back in the beta, and I haven't seen it in months and possibly even a year or two. I don't know exactly how long Stark has been out. Time has just flown. We do have White Dog going to be scouting to the right, and Deny, I don't even know what he's talking about, but he is going to be throwing down a 12 barracks, and in the positioning it is in, it looks like he is going to be favoring for a tech lab or reactor on that barracks. We'll see if he goes for his gas. We'll see exactly when he goes for his gas. It looks like it will be at 13. White Rod going to be going in and will scout the barracks. Based on the placement, it does look like it could very well be some type of Marauder opening, but he could also be worried about a factory going down, taking that tech lab, and a 111 coming. So I'm really curious on how long this one probe does stay here. If he sees the tech lab going on the barracks right away after the first Marine. We do have the probe attacking the SCV and uh, going to be switching over to the other one. And now the probe is going to be retreating. Does know the gas has been mined. He's pretty sure I, he clicked on it to see exactly how much gas is mined. To know the exact timing of that, we'll be seeing the first Marine produced. And White Rod is going to be staying around just a little bit longer. And now the probe is going to be leaving the base. The SCV is going to throw down the supply depot. White Rod does see the supply depot. As the Marine does come out, the tech lab has been built on that barracks. White Rod not going to stick around to find out what is going on. At the same time, we do have Deny scouting to see exactly what White Raw is going to do. His Cyber Next Core is on the way. We'll see if he goes for a two gate expand or just takes the Nexus right now. He is me getting his pylon up so he doesn't supply cap himself. The SCV is on the way to scout exactly what White Raw is doing while a Marauder and Concussive Shells is being researched. So Deny most likely will be putting on some type of early pressure, but no second bank is going down. So it looks like some sort of one racks pressure. I can't uh, imagine him getting concussed with shells and not moving out at all. Marauder now comes out. He does have another one on the way. Of course, the one marine is out and uh, don't know what he just killed there. Maybe that was the critter. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the probe as it did return home. We do... Not have any workers killed, so that had to be little Mr. Automaton 2000. The SCV is going to be returning back home. We do have an expansion, and White Raw also going to be throwing down a one gate expand. Is going to be rallying his sentry over. No, he is going to be coming back. The Stalker, though, going to control this one washed out. This is the fastest unit White Raw does have on the field right now. So if he sees anything from Deny moving out, the Stalker should be able to retreat back to base. And not get taken out, so this is just a very good scouting information for White Raw. As a probe does make his way across the map, going to be throwing down a Ford Pylon. And meanwhile, he is getting two more gates, going to be moving up to three gates. And now a Robo Facility, still on just one gas though. We do have Deny moving out with two Marauders, a Marine, and a Reaper. And I really do like this build by Deny. He's not going to really try to just win the game with it. But what this Reaper allows him to do, he's going to be able to get a complete scout on White Raw and most likely do some damage. The Reaper's going to hop around the base. He will see this Robo Facility, which tells him, okay, it's not a 7 racks all in or anything. This is just very safe, it seems. I don't know how much he sets himself behind by building those Marauders and this Reaper. But it does give him a complete scout of White Raw's base, almost guaranteed. And also going to be taking out some workers. They're good too, while the Marauder and Marine work on this Nexus. But the Reaper does again see three gates and that robo facility now just going to be backing off. And it looks like Deny going to be retreating with these units as well. 
Reaper does get picked off, but I would surely trade a Reaper for knowing exactly what my opponent is doing. White Dog going to be getting a Warp Prism as a probe does come in. Scouts the expansion, so White Dog knows exactly what Deny is got going on. He doesn't know up here. He doesn't know about the two more barracks. But he does know about the command center, and that is very nice information. And Deny knows about the three gates and robot facility. He doesn't know about the warp prism. And he may assume it is going to be some type of warp prism play just because it is white raw. And he loves those special tactics. We do have right now Deny holding that watchtower. All his units are up at the ramp, even though he has this watchtower, which leads me to believe that, um... He doesn't think the Warp Prism is going to be coming out just because if he has this Watchtower, he generally doesn't have to protect his uh, ramp and can leave a few units up in his main to defend against things like this. Two Zealots, two Sentries in that one Warp Prism. He could force field the ramp if he can get there quick enough without Deny seeing him, but it looks like he is just going to be going for that mineral line. SCVs immediately pulled off the line, and one SCV does go down. We do have um, another one. Looks like White Rock killing four SCVs so far, while Deny has killed three probes. The Warp Prism does get out, and now White Rock has a pretty good scout on exactly what Deny is going to be up to. Warp Prism still just moving around. Going to try to go for another drop. Does have an Observer coming in here. Will see the army, and this Warp Prism is going to have to make a judgment call. Keep in mind, he did not throw down any force fields. So he can always go kind of behind this middle line with a few sentries through force field, stop the bio units from getting up close and personal, and do damage that way. The missile turret is on the way. There we go. Sentry's going to be unloading. Now a zealot. And there go two, three force fields. So Deny going to try to get even more workers. That zealot going to get that one SCV. More SCV is going to be attacking those war prisons, but he immediately goes up into the war prison. The SCVs were attacking the sentries. Not the Warp Prism. Stim does happen, and that set, uh, Warp Prism does get taken out. Missile Turret gets a few shots on it from that Missile Turret, but does not go down. Did not, uh, White Rod did lose two uh, sentries, one Warp Prism, and two Zealots so far. He did kill off nine SEVs. So I don't know if that was worth it. Going in this work account, it is 30 SEVs, 246 probes. Deny is going to be going on his third base, so maybe that was worth it for White Raw. We will find out in probably about two to three minutes to see exactly what ends up happening. Losing those sentries is never a good thing, as if White Raw wants to rebuild those sentries, it is going to slow down or lower the number of Colossus he can build or the upgrades. Right now, Thermal Lance is being researched as the first Colossus is coming out. We'll see what the nice knows about this. Has he thrown down a scan? No, he hasn't. Additional he has no idea about a White Rock going in for those Colossus. Additionally, he is going to be taking his third base. The Observer going to be hanging around the ramp and may have caught Deny moving out or just the tail end of that. I am not exactly sure if White Rock did see that. The Colossus now making his appearance on the field. It will Deny throw a scan anytime soon to see exactly what White Raw has before going up, and that is what I am looking for right now. Do have one Marine going to be leading the way, throwing the stem down, is going to be seeing the third base on the way, and will most likely see what the army is before his Bioforce goes too close to it, and he's actually going to be doing a big drop. Just taking out that one pylon, and doesn't look like he's going to be loading up in his medevac, but White Raw is staying right here, trying to go in between his main and his third base until his Observer does get here. And with the Observer making the appearance, White Raw will now finally feel safe, going to be moving down the ramp just a little bit. And Deny is going to try to take out these destructible rocks, so he has even more ways to go into that third base. One Marine is going to stay there, see those two Colossus, and immediately he is going to be running away. We'll see if he does stim and get away. It doesn't look like it's so far. One Viking on the field, he is going to start his split up. Force fields do go down, doesn't trap too many units. Now Deny going to be kiting those Zealots, not taking too many hits from those Colossus. But the Medivac does go down, he has two Medivacs left, still at relatively good energy. And White Rod just going to be falling back to his base. Does have a pylon right here to spot any type of drops. Very nice play. I love that. Love seeing pylons around the map, especially if you have Templar, uh, high Templar tech, because then you can just whoop one in and feed back the dropship. 
and do a lot of damage instantly before the Terran player can even react. So we'll see if this pylon does come into play. Observer going to be holding this. Well, not holding the washout, but just keeping an eye on the washout. So White Rod knows Deny has this. Deny going to be splitting up a few forces, and White Rod doesn't know about that. Doesn't have any buildings right here to scout those rocks. And now a zealot is going to try to take control of the washout, but this marine is going to live just long enough. Well, he may have caught a second glimpse. It doesn't look like it. Some marauders going to go take control of the watchtower. White Ross sees those rocks go down. He is pulling all his units. He is assuming a lot are going to be coming in there, but Deny is going to be doing a drop. Going to be going for that middle line. He should target down these forges, or at least the one that is upgrading. Going to get the pylon, and then may even be... Oh, may even get the Nexus. That could be the right call. White Rod just going to be moving out. Does have a few units going out to deal with this drop. The Nexus does get taken out. And now Deny going to be trying to retreat. Stalkers do not have blinks. Those medevacs do get away. Meanwhile, White Rod does hold the middle of the map. Doesn't want to move out too far. And now Deny does see the one pylon right here. And is going to be dropping units to deal with that now. Taking out the pylon that does not supply cap White Rod right now. White Ross still in the supply lead. This forge does not finish his upgrade. Plus one armor is still on the way. He does have plus one ground weapons already complete. Deny, he is at 1-0 as well. He has his armor on the way. Looks like White Rod will finish it more in this. Oh. White Rod doesn't really have any anti-air in this force. So even though he sandwiches the medevacs, they can still get away. Small blunder there. And he really wishes he had Blink right now. But instead, he did choose to go for that Temple of Archives and is getting charge. It's a little bit of an odd move, but White Rod really loves that charge upgrade. And he does normally go relatively zealot heavy. He's at 14 zealots while he only has 7 stalkers. But that Blink helps so much with those drops. If White Rod's army is right there, then he can just Blink up here and deal with any drops in the main. The Observer does see the army. White Raw is going to be taking his expansion now, but it looks like Deny has some sort of idea about it. No, he is just going to be trying to go in for that third base, but the Observer again is spotting that, so Deny cannot take that. And um, I take that back. The Zealot Heavy is really smart right now. There are only 15 Marines out while 30 Marauders. This army is way too Marauder heavy in my opinion. If White Rod gets those armor upgrades, Marauders are going to do so little damage against those Zealots. They only deal 11 damage with an attack speed of 1.5, while Marines deal 7 damage, but they have an attack speed of 0.86. Marines deal so much more DPS to um, non armored units than Marauders. Not even funny. So all those Zealots, I mean, they're just not going to die, and Deny is going to have to constantly kite those Zealots. While his Colossus get a lot of hits off and his few Stalkers can pick off the Vikings. There's no way the Bioforce can be anywhere near White Raw's Colossus Force. And that allows the Vikings to deal a lot of damage. Deny is going to be seeing this fourth base while trying to do a drop. And a pylon is going to be built. Few Marine Stim trying to take out the one crew, but they do fail this one though. Looks like he's a little bit special. Going to be getting taken out as he does run. And here we go, the big battle. White Rod Stalkers, though, in the front. And those Zealots not going up and dealing that damage right away. But there we go. Those Zealots do go. Colossus are being targeted down. It looks like Deny is going to be pushed back. But he did a lot more damage than he should have. Just because those Colossus were so far behind the Stalkers. And at the same time, White Rod losing one of his bases. But didn't lose any real probes in that. So it's not too bad. White Rum is going all the way up to Deny's front door, but now he realizes it's a smart move to back off, and he is going to be throwing up his fourth base just underneath this drop. Deny doesn't know it's coming. Will he end up scouting there or not? White Rock going to be taking out these destructible rocks, and Deny, does he see that? Yes, he does. Rocks go down, and Deny immediately lifts up his command center and is going to be retreating. Love this move by him. Not going to be really losing anything. Yeah, he loses a few supply depots and a missile turret, but it's nowhere near as bad as losing a command center or even worse, all of your SCVs on that. Here we go. A drop is going to be coming in. So while White Rod does that, Deny does go into White Rod's third base. Tries to kill any workers, but instead... He is going to go for this Nexus. I think he should just get that Assimilator, but the probe's going back to the line. But uh, Deny doesn't really take advantage of that. Now the probe's going in, and oh man, 
White Raw losing a lot of probes there. The cannon actually finishes off the medevac while the marines do fall to those zealots. White Raw putting his probes a little bit on the middle line. I mean a little bit too early. Lost a few then. Look how heavy and zealots White Raw is. He's got 25 zealots. But Denai has 31 Marauders and only 10 Marines. And as I said before, Marauders just do not kill Zealots well. So it's all going to come down to EMPs. Do we have any Ghost on the field? No, we don't. Do we have Ghost Tech out? No, we do not. So Denai could be in a little bit of trouble here. These charge lots are just, I think they're just going to do so much damage. I don't think Denai can trade cost effectively against White Raw's army. And going over into this income, we do have Denai actually. It's hard to say if he's in the lead army wise or not. White Raw has a lot more gas income. Denai doesn't have any SUVs on these gases yet as he is still building them. But once White Raw gets a lot of gas, then the bio army does get significantly weaker. Bio. His weakness is gas. They love trading against mineral based armies, but as soon as you get a lot of gas in there, Bio does start falling behind. But he is getting a Viking count up to deal with those Colossus. Does have plus one attack White Raw, though at 3 2 upgrades. What is this Bio upgrade looking at? 2 2. He has 3 3 on the way. We have 3 ground armor, and now finally Blink, and also Prodos shields. We do have Deny. Gonna be defending his third base right now as White Raw does move in. And all the bio on this ramp, that is not good. That AoE damage just helps so much when they are clumped up. But Deny now has a relatively good split. And again, those Zealots just cannot get into the battle. And Deny doing a great job, but White Rod decides to tug it down this command center. Command center does lift up. Zealots have killed a lot of those SCVs. The command center does go down. 36 workers killed for White Rod while Deny killing 17 probes. At the same time, White Raw coming in with a few stalkers going to deny mining on this base. And now Deny has been denied mining. His minerals are almost out at his natural. His main almost out as well. His mineral income, just look, it is so bad at 880 while White Raw is at 17 or 1600. All White Raw has to do right now is contain Deny. If he contains Deny, he wins the game because he will starve him out. Hopefully White Rod doesn't do any attacking and Deny has to do damage here. He cannot afford to be contained. And here we go. Big engagement is going down again. Those Zealous just being trapped behind those Stalkers. And uh, Marauders have a great, great split. And it looks like Deny will be forcing this army to retreat. More Zealots going in. Those Marauders will keep on stimming. And White Rod just has to hold Deny here. He actually doesn't have to do damage to this fire army. It will do it itself as it does stim to kite these charge lots. And that is all White Raw has to do because Deny is not mining. White Raw is mining. So once he forces these stims to kill the Marauders, then he can't rebuild these Marauders. And uh, you kind of get where it's going from here as Deny keeps using that stim to kite back, forcing to land these Vikings. And all his units are pretty injured. Doesn't have any medevacs out, and that is going to be bad news for him. Just because, well, oh, he has one medevac, but he can't heal after those stims. So after every engagement, his army is just going to be weaker and weaker as White Raws will be larger and larger. Deny going to try to do another kiting, but yet again, more stims go down. To put it in perspective, every two stims is around 30% of your army's HP. And uh, White Raw, 123 supply, Deny at 50. Looks like White Raw will be taking this game. Deny going to try to hold on, but there it goes. GG, well played. What a brilliant play by White Raw. Just kind of denying his opponent from mining. And then saying, you know what? You can kite me all day. I don't care. Because you're going to do damage to yourself that you just cannot afford. I can build units all day, no matter how cost effective you are. At the end of your days, your units are junkies and they're just going to go and kill themselves. And additionally, I love White Raw's decision. I kind of, at the early stage of the game, I didn't really see what was going on. And then I saw how Marauder Heavy Deny was. And I was like, oh my god, those zealots. Such a good call for White Raw. 
and we will hop over into SC2 Gears right now and see what is going on. And mainly, I want to see how many Marauders were built to Marines. Did he build more Marauders than Marines? If he did, I'd always say that is a mistake because Protoss people, they can just get those Zealots and be like, LOL, kite me, you'll do damage to yourself, and then my, my high, ugh. Then when I get my high Templars and I can storm you, then you'll just drop like the flies you are. Going over this APM tab, holy spikies. What the heck was going on there? 737. Is that the 9? Yes, it is. 737 and 1023. Are you curious? I know I am. Oh, let's go in here. What was Deny doing? And I think that's the first time the APM tab has actually made me want to go check the game. Oh, let's see. Deny. There we go. APM tab is highlighted. We'll just see if SC2 Gears is active. Actually, you know what? I heard EAPM was higher than APM, but this is the old version, and well, I can't look at that. Oh well. Upgrade complete. Okay. Does his APM just spike here? I don't really see anything. SCV ready. Just go to 1030 with me real quick. SCV ready. Research complete. This better be good. Nope, nothing really at all. So it looks like SE2 Gears has dawn has goofed. Let's just go back to this. Uh, make sure. Yeah, that was deny. Don't know what that is. Oh well. We do have, and this does do game time. Let me just double check that one setting to make sure it's still on game time. Let's see. 2649 it says the game is. And you can see the game 2649. So, SE2 Gears is not on real time. It is on my StarCraft 2 time. So that should, we should have seen what was going on, but oh well. I'm over it. Hopefully you are too. Deny, macro APM 50, white raw at 36, micro APM 94 versus the 88 of white raw. Redundancy 33 to white raw's 28, EAPM 97 to white raw's 90. Pretty equal APM. But uh, let's go into... Oh uh, no, it is this. Units. This will be interesting. So... White Raw with 25 High Templars, 7 Colossus, 3 Immortals, 4 Observers, 1 Warp Prism, 5 Sentries, 38 Stalkers, 118 Zealots, 91 Probes. We have Deny with 26 Vikings, 12 Medivacs, 1 Reaper, 113 Marauders, 57 uh, Marines, and 94 SEVs. So way more Marauders than Marines, which is why White Raw went so Zealot heavy. If White Raw just focused on plus three armor and got plus three shield, I think Deny would have been even more trouble. I don't think those Zealots really have to do damage. They just have to live because the DPS that Deny will put on his army just because White Rye has Zealots out is going to be a lot. And I may be completely wrong by that, but that is just my thinking. Going on uh, the abilities, we do have... 5 Blinks, 2 Feedbacks, 23 Archon Morphs, 20 Warp Gates, 7 Guardian Shields, 70 Chrono Boost, 2 PFs, 6 Scans, 3 Call Down Supplies, 29 Stims, 33 Mules, 4 OCs. Unit Tiers, we can look at a uh, Green or Marauder. You can see he was just building those all throughout the game, and then once he hit like this mark, you don't really see Marines being built anymore. Vikings, Medivacs, and Marauders. Handful of Marines, but mainly just Marauders. And, uh, that may have been, well, not even one Ghost that game. So, if you're going Marauder heavy, you definitely need Ghost to take out the Zealot Shields. 
And uh, I think you also really need to get some Marines in your composition. I know they're going to die quick, but they do a lot of DPS. They are very cheap, and you can mass them up very, very quickly. And he kind of only used Marines at the late game. You notice he focused those in his dropships to kill workers. And didn't really kill army with that. Going in this resources, we do have minerals mined. So let's just look at this. White Raw mined more minerals by around 4k. Gas, we do have White Raw mining more about around 3k. So overall, I'd say that game was pretty impressive. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Hopefully, you did as well. Take care, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.